Alright, so now that we know how to change directories, check which directory we are in and start files in those directories, I'm going to show you how to list the directories that are in the directory you're in and all the files that are in that directory. To do that, just take your OS module and type OS dot then list dir. And well, if we look at uh, look at that, we just say the path and it gives you the list of strings in that path. So what we can do is do um, get for an argument we can do OS dot get uh, CWD and it'll tell us all of the um, files and directories within our directory. So everything that's in our directory except for dot and dot dot which are like for CDing in the terminal or changing the directory in a terminal. So that's how you can check what's in yours and you can also use that for other ones so like list dir and then we can just do the C drive which will give us a lot and it includes the res the in place the recycling bin windows and stuff that you do not want to delete and you can delete these with uh, Python so you don't want to delete these three anything that starts with a dollar sign do not touch at all it's very bad everything else pretty much is just um, other files and DLLs that are on the system. So now, what if we want to make a directory? Well, we're going to make one on our desktop. It's going to be called YouTube. So to do that, all we have to do is type mk, well, oops, os dot mk dir, and then in quotations our path name that we want it to be called and where we want it to be located. So YouTube. Okay. And make sure that everything is spelt correctly. Otherwise, it's going to be bad. You can't make a folder within a folder. So we can make YouTube, but we can't make YouTube with YouTube number two inside of YouTube without already making YouTube first. So now we press enter, and our file appears right there. Now, that we know how to make it, let's find out how to delete it. So this is pretty simple as well. To delete a file like YouTube, all we do is type OS dot remove oops, my bad, OS dot RM dir and then the name of it. But keep in mind with the uh, OS module, the file has to be empty for you to delete it with this. Another thing, since we're on the subject of deleting stuff if we were to like open a file which will make it so we'll make one and it'll be called uh, we'll just type this we're going to be making a file called test.txt and we'll delete it so test.txt because if you open it and it doesn't exist hmm well, obviously my bad I forgot something we have to be able to write it. And I didn't give it that permission. Ah, gosh dang it. Okay. Open and then boom. Paste. Ah, didn't need that one up here. Anyways, so now we're going to say comma W for write. And you guys should know how to do this if you watch my other tutorials. Now if we press enter, we have our test.txt file right here. And it's blank, of course, but even if we were to put something in it like hello and save that with control s oh my bad we have to use python to write it so we'll go in here and say uh, have this equal to well I guess we'd have to do uh, no we have to uh, I hate using the terminal sometimes well the interpreter whatever we'll have this equal to a and then a dot close. There we go. Now we can save something to it. So we'll do hello. But it's closed. Ah, stupid windows. Oh well. Hopefully this works then. Uh, yes. Yes. There we go. So now I have something in it. Just to prove to you that it will work for files that have something in it, we do os dot remove 
and then the path which we can actually just copy and paste it's being used by another process uh, all right close that open it again dang it wrong icon that was the recycling bin that's why I don't like using the interpreter anyway sorry for that mis inconvenience so OS okay so OS dot remove and then the path uh, there we go and press enter and it is removed nothing there see it took me a while but we did it and so that is how you can remove directories that are empty and remove files that are full next tutorial I'll show you guys more about directories with the shoe till module I'm sorry this video was so long with all those inconveniences but yeah anyways I'll be seeing you guys in the next video comment if you have any questions or comments on the video and like the video if you liked it and subscribe for future videos I'll be seeing you guys later